Hi, I'm Yola. In this video, we're going to be mapping data in Flourish, uh, putting that onto a geographic map and importing it into Illustrator. Hi, in this session, we are going to create a map in Flourish, export it as a vector into Illustrator. The reason we're doing that is because Illustrator doesn't generate maps. You can trace around maps or import them. And Flourish is a great place to quickly create maps. It's very easy to export it as a vector into Illustrator. So here we go. I'm going to use some data about identity theft in America in 2009. And the story is that Florida at that time had was ranking number one in identity theft. I am going to go to Flourish, New Visualization. And I scroll down and I come to this one here, United States. The first thing I'm going to do, it's just loading up now, is I don't want to show any points. I just want to have the states and that's what I've got the data for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to my points layer here and I'm going to disable it. So it's really straightforward now. That's the data I'm looking at. Here is where the data is for that template and you can see there's geometry here, it's name of states, um, there's state numbers in, in this order, census area and GeoID, so all the information that I need. If I wanted to put in points, that would be on this page here, or lines. But we're just doing regions. I'm going to the Excel spreadsheet with the data that I downloaded. And I already know that I haven't got data for District of Columbia, and I haven't got data for Puerto Rico, because I've already checked my data. top and I'm going to select complaints per 100,000 population, number of complaints and rank. And I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here. And you can see it's taken the title of the column and the data. Now, I haven't got District of Columbia. So I'm just going to cut that out and paste it there. Go Florida number one. So I know that I'm looking for Montana. Let me go to my spreadsheet. Um, I'm not going to highlight the titles, just want the numbers because I've already got that in the columns. Florida, there you go. Number one, go back here, Florida, in it goes, and then I'm going to Montana, here, Montana, there's, two, three, and paste. And there we go, we have got everything except Puerto Rico and also it's more District of Columbia. Great, so here's a little preview of our map. Let's start making it ready for what we want. So there's a map and it's showing 1 to 72, which I don't need that. What I want is I want the ranking to be shown. And that's what's in this value box here. I'm going to just tidy this up, go rank, and this is H, so in value, put it H. Now what I want is, I know that Florida is number one, I can see it's the lightest one. For my graphic, my infographic, um, sorry that's just updated because it takes a little while, for my infographic I want that to be the darkest. So I'm going to uh, the regions layer, 
is what we're working on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a colour in for fill. And you'll see why. I'm going to do that as a red so it really stands out. Um, the scale type is not categorical, it's numeric that we want. See that's diverging. No, nope, we want it sequential. If I reverse, this is linear, and that's it reversed. Can you see number one is the darkest 50? I've still got multiple shades. And I've got another problem is that blue is usually for the sea. So I'm going to go for oranges. There we go, oranges. I'm going to reverse this so number one is the darkest but actually what I want to do is I want to put bins and watch this as I reduce the number of bins. Bins is relating to this scale here. It's all one colour. That's what I want for Illustrator. Now here we have missing values. Now Puerto Rico has a missing value. At the moment it's defaulted to user pattern, so you can see that, which isn't great for Illustrator. Now, if I use fill colour, that is that pink. See that pink there? That's that pink there. So, I'm going to change that to something a little bit more um, neutral. There we go. Tin colour. And it only drops in when I close the dialog box, and there it is, grey. So, this is getting it ready for Illustrator, and that's really good for what I want. Great, so I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm really happy with the way it's looking. Um, I don't need any graticules. I don't need to worry about the controls, pop-up panels, the shirt search box. Uh, I don't need to worry about the legend. The legend is where I would put in um, some custom words. So I would put in uh, rank. See, it's popped in there. But I'm not, I don't need that for Illustrator. I will give it a title though, because um, I, I want to save this in my setup. So I have a little um, setup area in Flourish when I log in, and I want to keep that there. So I'm going to give it a title. 2009 and right in here demo great close that up and I'm all ready to go so I'm going to press this button export and publish now what I want to do is to download it I can't download the HTML because I've got a free version I'm going to go download image PNG JPEG not SVG yes that is for the vector artwork and I'm going to download that now. Here we go, here's a file with a big cross on it, don't worry. Select the cross, backspace to delete. So I've got all of the states here. Um, my data story is that Florida is number one. That is really all I'm concerned about. So I'm absolutely fine that these are all just one colour and I'm going to colour them up. I'm going to select and go to fill. I need to create a new colour group and that's here. Okay. And in this colour group you can see I've got the grey, the orange, the black and the white. Now I'm going to change the orange, double click and make it a little bit less bright. And they're going pale. Great, lovely. Really happy with that. Um, what I want to do now is I want to highlight Florida and I'm going to ungroup it, select it, and I'm going to give that another colour and make it a little bit more, more vibrant there we go a bit more 
are a bit more red, yeah. Great. So you can see there I've created a, a new colour for Florida. Now, Puerto Rico hasn't got any data, so I've selected that and I'm going to drop a grey in there. So I'm going to, to create a new colour and um, there we go, I'm going to do a, a grey. Now, I'm ready, so I've got Puerto Rico down there, that's Florida that I'm interested in, um, and I've got America here, and there's, there's Alaska down there. Hmm. So what I would like to do next is just make these borders a little bit thicker. So I'm going to select again and go to stroke. Yep, that's great. That's what I want for my my infographic map. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing again and I am going to copy it. I'm going to open a new page. Paste And I'm going to and I'm going to just have a little bit of a play with the borders because it's great. That looks that looks good to me, and going to move it down a bit so I'll highlight it bring it down and I am going to call it identity theft by state to make that larger oops maybe didn't highlight them all change the font to aromatics okay identity theft by state and I need to put all of the information in from the Excel spreadsheet so I'm going to copy that go back to Illustrator It's going to come out too big, so there we go. Make that a bit smaller. There we go. And don't forget, because you have got this map from Flourish, do do credit them great okay so there's my map um, I'm going to put it on a block a rectangle block there we go and I'm going to send that to the back it's a bit strong so I'll pick, pick something like that there and actually I think I'm going to just play around with the, the stroke for these let's try it 0.75 that might be nicer yeah, that works better. Right, okay, and 
Collider rank one. And there we are. We have just mapped some data and put it together in Illustrator.